Yeah, yeah. At, at this point, I'm not even, I'm not even angry. I'm just utterly disappointed. Yes, 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 yes. That's all I have to say. It's just disappointment. No, no anger. You won't see anger this time. Guys, guys, welcome back, man. Welcome back to another disappointing FPL game week where I didn't get my captain. I didn't get my captain right. My team did poor. I don't know what's going on this season. This season it has been a mess, a complete mess. Let's go through uh, game week nine, how many points I got, and the transfers that I'm thinking of doing for game week 10, and also where I'm standing in the leagues and things. So yeah, man, take, let's, let's all take a deep breath inside outside and let's get into it oh 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 yes subscribe like do all the things comment comment how you guys how your team did and yeah man comment everything let's go okay so for gaming nine i got 27 points don't ask me again because i won't tell you again <laughs> no i got that much and um yeah, it's pretty poor, man. Uh, the average was was 30. So it was pretty much a poor game for everyone. I still have Lundstrom to come into my to play. So hopefully he can really help my team massively. Uh, yeah, so Ryan got me three points. It's not too bad. He did some saves, which is, you know, he's constantly doing that and I don't really mind having Ryan because he constantly uh, gets me these bonus saves. He gets me these uh, save points. So for me, I'm really I'm I'm happy with Ryan, even though that it, then he's not keeping a clean sheet as often. Uh, Lundstrom still has to play against Arsenal. You know, Van Dijk. My word! I thought at least this one I thought it was gonna be a no no. But it ended up 1-1, so Van Dijk didn't get me any points. That's kind of disappointing, but I, I, I kind of expected them not to win. But I think maybe a clean sheet I expected. Tomori gave me a clean sheet. He, get a, he got a yellow card, so, you know, minus one, but at least he got me a clean sheet. One of the performers for me this game week. Salah didn't play, so now we're in another conundrum where now we have to decide what we're gonna do with Salah. Is he gonna be fit for the next game week? So I have to keep an eye on that. He could be one of the players that I take out purely because he is um, unfit. Uh, then we have McGinn, two points. I thought he was gonna do something. Clearly I was wrong. Who, yeah, Aston Villa still won, but McGinn didn't do anything. Um, Mason Mount, three points. He got me a clean sheet point. Not too bad, not too good though. Sterling got me an assist. Now, when I was watching this game, uh, Abraham had already played and I was already like, oh, what is now Sterling scores and stuff and does something. You know, I had like, the thing is, I had my captaincy on Sterling and then I changed it after my video and I decided to captain Tammy. I mean, I think it's not too much of an Im improvement, really. I mean, I would have just gotten five more points. So it's not really a missed opportunity, but I wish that I had maybe stuck to Sterling. At the same time, hindsight is a shocking thing. Abraham was my captain, didn't do anything. He had a lot of chances, but I really liked the look of him. Um, I can't say I'm too disappointed because, you know, he did try to score and you could see that he wanted to score. So, I don't know, for me, Abraham, I I have I don't have any, like, regrets about making him my captain. Okay, yeah, you see here, this, this, this boy needs to get out of my team. 
it means to get out. I think I, I said in my preview, which is gonna be updates gonna pop up, where I said that Kane doesn't really score a lot against Watford. I didn't expect them to draw against Watford at home, but I did think that they were gonna win. But I knew that Kane wasn't going to score. And now the next game is against Liverpool, and that I'm not confident at all that he's gonna do anything. So Kane definitely he's one to to ship out right now. Definitely for me, he's on the radar of being shipped out. Yeah, but so we'll talk about who I might take out in the transfers. And then Puki, Puki I still have faith in. I have to at least have one return from him since I've gotten him. So I'm gonna keep faith. He got me one point. Poor. Yeah, man. And apparently he had like a chance to score. This game, Bournemouth and Norwich, out of the two teams that are the most attacking teams, you would have think you would think that they would actually get goals. And it ended no no. Shh. Like if what what is it? What is it? <laughs> Can you explain what it is, bro? On my bench, Otamendi, Kelly, both of them didn't play. Both of them are injured. So now I might have an issue here with uh, my injuries. I might have to do some transfers to take them out. Yeah, but the main definitely I'm gonna, he has to come out. I can't have someone that's that expensive on the bench. And then Donka got me two points. He's gonna come in for Salah. So right now I'm probably on 40 or uh, 29. So right now I'm sitting on 29. Yeah, if you put Ben Donker in there. And then my transfers. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, so I'm thinking that Otamendi needs to come out and Kane. Now, if Salah, if Salah is injured still for a long period of time, then, no, not even for a long period. If he's injured, I'm going to take him out. If he's injured for the next game week, I'm going to take him out because to have someone that expensive just sitting on the bench is not advisable. So I would, for me, I, would, I need to take, if he's not fit for the next game week, he's out. And I would probably replace him with someone like Mane or De Bruyne. But I'm not, comf I'm not comfortable with having two Man City players in my midfield. So it probably would be Mane. But now I'm not, I hope that Salah's fit because I don't want to take him out. I still think he has a lot of value. Kane, I think it's time for him to go. Otamendi, definitely time for him to go. And I'm thinking of replacing Otamendi with Johnny Evans. Because uh, Leicester have great fixtures coming up. Only greens. Only greens, except for the Arsenal game. But only green. So I'm thinking that Johnny Evans has to come in. Uh, Johnny Evans gets a lot more bonus points. So I want to go for someone that at least gets some bonus points. So yes, Nonchu is cheaper, but I feel like with the bonuses, Evans could help me there just to get a little bit of a nudge over people that have Sunanchu. So I'm thinking Johnny Evans, but obviously I could go for Sunanchu as well. But I'm thinking Johnny Evans. And then in the in the striking, my obvious choice is gonna be a Bama Yeezy. So yeah, a Bama Yang, definitely I think he could be in there. And also they have also favorable fixtures coming up as well. If you look at the greens, he also has favorable fixtures. So him I could definitely just direct replacement. Sterling, obviously, he could also be on the chopping block and I could take him out. I could take him out to replace him with the burn, you know, and then maybe go for Aguero. Even also with the Kane replacement, I could go for Jesus because it seems like he's going to be playing a lot more. The only issue with him is that he might not play as often. So, yeah, that's a bit iffy there, but I think he's one to look out for. But yeah, man, I think Kelly also, I think Kelly needs to come out. 
Kelly might need to come out if he's going to continue to be injured. But I think those are the only transfers that I'm thinking so far. If this continues, if my form of the FPL continues, then I think we'd have to try a wild card because it can't continuously be these low scores. Then I would have to change my team in some way. Let me know if you guys are doing a wild card. Let me know how many, like, if there's any changes that I should be doing and any people, any players that I should be taking out. Put in your comments, put in your comments of any, any uh, advice you want from me, any uh, questions that you may have, and then I'll answer them on the Friday video. Uh, there's also Jamie Vardy. I could replace Kane with Jamie Vardy as well. He's another one that's looking tip top. Yeah, so in my league, I was 15th. Now I'm 18th now. <laughs> when you say it like that oh my goodness so yeah man i'm i've really decreased it's shocking it's really shocking and hopefully this can really just be a turn i need to get my captaincy right and i need to get my team going up again i don't understand you know so yeah man that's how i'm sitting the number one is still my boy mitchell with 525 at least the gap between points is not too big at this point so you can still make up a lot of ground in these game weeks but you know if they continue to be sh like these game weeks we need to figure out something and then also uh, overall i'm sitting i was sitting at 700,000 now i'm at 900,000 so you can see that just one game week you can literally go down but then it just takes another game week to go up again so i think let's not lose faith all the people that are doing well what are your secrets let's let us know <laughs> yeah guys so um that will be it for the video put your comments put your like put your subscriptions i love you all thanks for showing me love and peace <laughs>